In this video I'll show you how to connect your PS5 controller to your iPad. I'll show you two different ways. The first way using the Bluetooth and the second way using a USB cable if you prefer that. So let's get started. Step number one is to go on your iPad and select settings. Over here on the left side you're gonna see Bluetooth. You need to click on Bluetooth. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on and then over here go down this list and your PS5 controller would appear here. But first we need to put it in pairing mode. So let's do this. To put the controller in Bluetooth pairing mode, you need to keep press the PS button at the same time as the share button until the blue lights are flashing on, on top here. So let's do it. I'm pressing until I see the lights flashing. All right, it's flashing. Now I can release. Put the controller aside on this menu go down and you see under other devices your DualSense wireless controller will appear. Click on it, wait, and it will be added to your connected device over here. Now you can go ahead and start using your controller with your iPad. So you can open games or if you have connected your PS5 using a remote play to your iPad you'll be able to play the same way you're using it um, with your PS5 directly. Once you're done, you need to remove the controller from this Bluetooth list. So how do you do this? Simply go back into the Bluetooth settings, press the eye icon on the right side, and then select forget this device. Then select forget device, and your controller will disappear from this list. Next time you want to use it using the Bluetooth, you need to redo the same process I just showed you. Now, if you want to use the controller with a cable, I suggest you get the cable that came with your PS5, the one that you use to charge your controller. The, not all cables will be compatible. They need to be OTG, which means that they are not only for charging, but also to transfer data. I'll put links in the description if you want to get one of these. So take your cable. This one is USB type A to USB type C. But I have another one, uh, it's made by Apple, but honestly it does not matter, that is OTG, that is USB-C to USB Type-C. It's a bit better since I won't need an adapter. Connect one end to the controller and the other end connect it to your iPad. Like that. And this is about it. Once you did this, the iPad will charge your controller, you see it's orange. So be careful because if you don't have a lot of uh, battery left in your iPad, well, it will drain even more because it's now charging your controller. The controller is also working, so you can go ahead and start playing with it on your iPad. If you want to see how much battery is left in your controller on the iPad, go on the home screen anywhere, keep press, select edit on the top left corner, then select add widget, and on the top here, type battery. Select batteries and select any of these, the one you prefer, let's say this one, press add widget and it will be added on your screen. You can move it around and over here you see it says how much battery is left in the controller. And it's also showing that it's currently charging. Once you're done, simply unplug and <laughs> this is about it. You don't have to do anything else. Thanks for watching. I really hope my tutorial was helpful. I'll put links, as I said, if you want to get some OTG cables from Amazon, if you don't have any, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.